Deutsche Bank's chief international economist, Torsten Slock, issued a warning to investors recently. If you care about your portfolio, and of course you care about your portfolio, you should also care about income inequality. Yahoo Finance's Sabiel Marcellus has the very latest on this. So, Sabiel, Dow, S&P, we're closing at our highest levels in two months, December 3rd. What, what does income inequality have to do with where my portfolio is going to go? So it's real simple. So the stock market highs are actually masking income inequality. Before the 2008 financial crisis, the median net worth for a family in the U.S. was $119,000. But since the economic recovery, those families have not benefited from that, and their, what, their net worth is low down $78,000 in 2016. And what the Deutsche Bank chief international economist Torsten Slock is saying is that investors have been, invest have been ignoring income inequality for way too long and that it can impact their portfolio because income inequality fuels populism. And populism often leads to the election of new leaders who will greatly change tax and immigration policies that can then affect the businesses that investors are bankrolling. So what's the solution to this? Is, is Torsten Slock suggesting anything to uh, help investors here? Well, he's saying to keep an eye on deteriorating income inequality. It's not something that you could just ignore and say, oh, it doesn't affect the markets. It absolutely can if new leaders decide they want to make radical change when it comes to tax reforms. We're even seeing here in the U.S., we've got Senator Schumer and Bernie Sanders talking about preventing companies from doing share buybacks if they don't first have their employees have a minimum wage of $15 an hour, health benefits, and paid time off. And also in Europe, we're seeing with Brexit and fears that when Britain will leave the European bloc, there could be a recession. So this is, these are all things that investors should also be factoring in in their decisions. Sabiel Marcellus in the Yahoo Finance Newsroom. Thanks so much.